Okay, well, I'm gonna use a full stroll on my blaster. And I'm gonna use like, uh, maybe like a lemonade or something on, well, I only have fresh water really. Um, I'll just use a potion and maybe a potion on thunder, thunder just to make sure, um, well, okay, that actually full healed thunder. But that super potion did, awesome. So, Gary will start off with his Pidgeot, so that means I can put Thunder up front, I guess. I guess Thunder, yeah, Thunder would be my best bet. So, remember, when you walk through these doors, you can't save right before him when you see him. Uh, he'll, he'll just activate the cutscene immediately. So if you want to save before the champion battle, which is your rival, whoever you named your rival, in my case, Gary, then save right in this room, like right here or something, or... Anywhere in this room, actually, after you lands, it doesn't matter. But once you're ready, go through the door and look at this awesome little portal place. Hey, Grodel. I was looking forward to seeing you, Grodel. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I have looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Grodel, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Of course you are. But if I beat you, I'll be the most powerful trainer in the world, right? Let's try that. Let's try doing that. I'll try to beat you, Gary. It's a 6 on 6 battle. He's gonna be pretty tough. He has Pidgeot's level 59, okay. But I'm- But Thunder's two levels ahead of you. Ha <laughs> ha Um, I'm gonna see how much the Thunderbolt does. Hopefully it does around half, so I can just use two Thunderbolts. And hopefully it does do more than that. It does more than that, but it fainted it, so I'll take it. I'll take it. So Thunder just annihilated that Pidgeot. Okay, let's get, it's gonna send it right on. Probably, I, I called it, because, you know, right on. Okay. So, right on. I'm gonna go for um, Phoebe, I guess. Hopefully, right on won't use a rock type move. More like a ground type move. Yes, like Earthquake. Okay, yeah. Because, like, Phoebe um, resists ground type moves by a little bit. Yeah, it's not very effective. That's why I kind of did that. I was hoping that he'd use a ground type move. Because it's super effective on Thunder, you know. Because being electric type and all. Let's go for the Giga Drain. It's going to use Takedown, but it missed. That's good for us. Awesome. And there we go. Um, This should one hit KO because it's four times weak to grass type moves. But you never know what will happen until it happens. But there we go. The th right on goes down. Phoebe is fully healed now. Awesome. Because of the Giga Drain. Half of its damage that's inflicted on the target will be um restored to you to your Pokemon who uses Giga Drain or Mega Drain or Absorb or any of those moves like that. So yeah. So you're gonna set up Arcanine now. Okay. Um I'm gonna be I'm gonna see if I can just spoil you. Okay, the flame throw will flame throw will just take it down. Oh my goodness. I thought I could land off a spore. And I was wrong. I was so wrong. Okay, that, that, well that's that. So let's go send out a uh, Blaster. Oh hey Terminator3565, welcome to the live stream. And yeah, we can use, um, let's use Surf on this thing. It gives extreme speed. Of course, of course I'll get it, of course. But me thinking I could land off a spore back there with Phoebe. I I totally forgot that Arcanine's like crazy fast. And Arcanine survived by so little. Killing now. Um yeah, I'm working on that Terminator 5565. Uh let's go it's gonna he Okay, so Gary's gonna heal, so I'm gonna just try to do a hydro cannon and hopefully it'll hit. I know I'll have to recharge after the next turn, but I want to get rid of this Arcanine. So I'm going to just do what Terminator5565 said in the chat. I'm going to kill it now, except for I'm still at the phase where I just say faint. I mean, I don't like, I don't really say kill. I mean, it's just my personal defense because Pokemon faint, but then Pokemon can pass away too, which is sad. So that's, yeah, and a different story though, but it's still sad. Yeah. 
Okay, Venusaur. Yeah, Blaster must be charged. Okay. So it's gonna set up with a solar beam. Okay. Um, let's see here. I can just switch to... Since it's a two-turn... It's a two-turn attack, so... Yeah, I can just switch to, um, Alpha. So thanks for letting me just have a free switch, Gary. Even though your thunder, uh, your solar beam will hit, will possibly hit uh, Alpha, but it, I was able to switch out in time. Yeah, it didn't do as much as I thought. Okay, good. Uh, let's go for a flamethrower just to see how much it does. And this Venus again is level 63. It's highest level Pokemon, and ooh, could quite nice. And it's higher, it's higher level than most of my team actually too, of all my team. Cause now I'm, now I'm a Pokemon at level 63. So yeah, there's that. Gyarados, okay. Um, trying to think. What's the last Pokemon? Oh yeah, there's two of my Pokemon, the Gyarados and his Alakazam. So, I'm gonna go for the strength here. I'm not gonna switch out to um Thunder unless you know Alpha gets knocked out. But you know, we'll just we don't want to rush this battle and like just make it totally hard on Gary. We want to actually you know somewhat give him a fighting chance, and that that's enough of a fighting chance, I guess you could say. So let's go to um Thunder now. And let's go for the Thunder Bolt. And this should KO it. Should KO the Gyarados. Okay, one more Pokemon, which is the Alkazam. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a Rain Dance here so I can have 100% accuracy on Thunder. <laughs> thunder, Thunder, I guess you could say. And it's gonna Psychic on me out, which is gonna hurt actually. I did. I thought I was gonna do half. Okay, so that's good. So as long as there's no critical hits on the next turn, if he is a psychic, then I get. I don't know what I get, but I get. Um, uh, Thunder gets to stay. Um, conscious. I guess you could say. Be a psychic again. No crits. No crits. No crits. No crits. No crits. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do is hope it's hope uh, Thunder is faster than this Alakazam, which is level 57 anyway. It is, and Thunder hits because 100% accuracy with with Rain Dance, so that's good. And with that, we beat Champion Gary. No, this can't. That can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the weak champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Thanks for the 6300 pocket hours, Gary. You're a real pal. Why did I lose? Or why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it. You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Grottle. Okay, it's Professor Oak. Okay. Cool. So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Squirtle to work on the, the Pokedex. Squirtle, you've come of age. Gary, I am disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? You, f you have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you'll, you will never become a champ again. Squirtle, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond that you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Go to come with me. Kinda just leave Gary there too. So yeah, there's that. Ahem. Congratulations, Grotal. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are happened for their are honored for their exploits. Exploits here. I don't exploits here I, I can't pronounce that word my bad their Pokemon are the, are the Pokemon are recorded in the Hall of Fame Grotl you have worked hard you have worked hard to become the new league the new league champion congratulations Grotl you and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers is it over the stream um you mean uh Terminator it's not the end of the stream because I thought that um I thought that the um 
Leap Four was gonna take me so much longer to, you know, stream, you know. But they, there's Thunder, there's Phoebe, there's Blaster, there's Femi, and there's Chelsea, and there's Alpha. They're all Hall of Famers. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. So the stream isn't over actually. I've only been streaming for like th 38 minutes or so, 39 minutes. So the Elite Four actually took me less, a lot less than um, I thought. So I'm going to start the after game actually in the Swipe Stream Session 2. So stay tuned for that. I mean, what's left, um, what's left, I guess, is, um, the after, I'm gonna start the after game, cause I wanna, you know, um, what's my, what's my address? Oh, um, I don't, I don't wanna share my personal address on a stream, sorry, I just don't, it's kind of personal information, so sorry, Minecraft for level 56, 78. But, um, yeah, I just plan on, you know, doing the, um, after game, which includes the Sebi Islands and Jota Pokemon, too. Because in the Sebi Islands, like, four, f Islands 4, 5, 6, and 7 have Jota Pokemon in them. And I already have 60 Pokemon caught for, I think I have, like, 63 Pokemon caught for the National, or the Pokedex. Which I'll be explaining in a little bit. But these credits are going to be rolling along for a bit. So, yeah. Oh yeah, we could do, yeah, um, really post game, all we can do for legendaries is actually Mewtwo, and since I started with Squirtle, I'm gonna be, I'll be able to use, um, get Raikou, so, but I'll do those two at the very end of the post, uh, game coverage, I guess you could say. So yeah, but, um, I did catch, you need 60 Pokemon or more to get the national decks, so you have to catch 60 Pokemon or more. To get the national decks and I have like 63 I think so I'm gonna start that after a game which as I said before in the same live stream session because this took me a lot less time than I thought so yeah what's the best way to get um 60 Pokemon in the decks a uh, good way is the Safari Zone uh, another good way is just evolving Pokemon like a Clefairy or like a Nidorino or Nidorina with the Moonstone and um I don't know just like Use like Ultra Balls and like early on Pokemon like you know if you didn't you haven't caught a Pidgey or something or a Sparrow or any of those kind of Pokemon that are at the beginning of the game. So yeah. When am I doing the next after game? Oh um I'm gonna start the after game in this live stream session. This live stream isn't over yet. I'm sorry. If the, I know the stream title says the Elite Four, but I it was really bad on estimating how long it would take me to do the Elite Four, so yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, these are some really cool credits. Like, I have okay, the Charizard, Venus, and Blastoise, and then you see your rival there just tossing up the bug ball. That's his little animation. <laughs> There's Cycling Road too, by the way. So, that's cool. Yeah. Ooh, this is... That took me a lot less than I thought. <laughs> I'm excited to start the after game though. I, I like having the after game and Team Rocket's actually in the after game for Pokemon Fire and the Green. So that's exciting. It's time for you to do a uh, solo run again with your Charizard. No, that's like really cool. I like solo runs, but I like having six Pokemon on my team too. I'm not that big on solo runs, but I they're fun to watch every now and then in my opinion. I just don't prefer them like when I do, you know, I just prefer to have a team of six Pokemon. I could do a solo run, but I kind of get bored with it because you would only have, you're only training up one Pokemon. And that's a good challenge, but it's just not for me. I would love to try doing one, I guess, just maybe once or twice. Just to see how I actually felt with it, with having to record like a series or something on it. But, yeah, I don't know. But there's that's the end of the credits. It says the end. Because you don't want to be grind. You you want to be grinding what? Do you recommend going with with Bill or going to the Elite Four? 